Question. Do you like to play computer games? How about making them? Today, we're going to meet some engineers from IBM in Atlanta who are creating a fun, educational 3D game all about kinetic energy, wind turbines, and the environment. We brought in three kids who are going to design their own wind turbine, build a scale model, and then create a computerized 3D virtual version of it. Think they're up to the challenge? Well, they think they are. Come along with us as we discover engineering. Hello there, welcome. My name is Kim. Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah. yeah. Do you like playing computer games? Meet Kim Cook Boy. She leads a team that develops educational 3D games for IBM. Their latest game is all about the power of the wind. Do any of you know how computer games are made or developed? Not no. a clue. No? But I do know a lot about computer games and because uh, I play them a lot when I'm at home, but I, I don't know that much at all on how they're made. I think that computer games are probably made on the computer and that it involves a lot of <laughs> clicking. I think they're probably made for some computer graphics or something. I don't know. Well, at least they're honest. No worries. Kim and her team will show them what they need to know. Engineers like myself work with a team of designers and developers and graphic artists and what we do is we actually work on computer games that basically shows people the different types of energy. Like the project we're working on today focuses on wind energy. You want to see how it works? Okay. Yeah. Well, come around. Let me show you. So using wind to create energy would be good for our environment, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. yeah. We're actually creating a game in this virtual world where players will be able to build their own windmill. Now we're at the point of our development process where we need to include the windmill, which is also called the turbine. You've all seen windmills before, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. totally. Well, one of the important things is when you build a windmill, you have to understand how wind energy works. So I'm going to have you meet my friend Monica, who's going to show you all about wind energy so you can build your own windmill. Oh, yes. yeah. Meet Monica Pate Ellingson. She's a no-nonsense game designer who is going to get down to the nitty-gritty of how we harness the power of the wind. Hi, you guys. Have you been having fun today? Oh, yeah. yeah. So what kinds of things can you think of that use the wind to help them move? Uh... Sailboats? Yeah. Pinwheels? That's right. That's a good one. <laughs> um, windsurfing. That's right. Kites and windmills. windmills. That's <laughs> right. That's right. So the wind is able to help things move because it has kinetic energy, which is the energy of movement. And in order for wind turbines to actually make electricity, we have to find a good way for them to capture the wind's kinetic energy. So let me tell you a little bit about how that works. First, we have the wind. So here's our wind turbine. As the blades spin, the windmill captures the kinetic energy of the wind. Inside the turbine, we have a generator. And the rotor of the blades make the generator spin around, which makes the electricity. The generator sends electricity, where it's then transformed into the electricity that you use in your homes. OK, so are you guys ready to think like engineers today? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> OK. One of the key things is wind speed. And in order to exactly figure out where you're going to locate a wind turbine, you need to think about what the wind speed is of that area. OK? The other thing is the actual height of the tower, because you want to be able to capture the maximum amount of wind energy. The third thing is actually how the turbine is designed, the shape of the blades, how many blades, the actual uh, position of the blades. And all of those determine how efficiently the wind turbine is going to work. Part of the engineering process, the first thing we do is we actually design on paper or through a computer program exactly what it is that we want to build. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually model your wind turbine <laughs> using these parts right here. When Monica dumped out all the um, parts, I was kind of overwhelmed because I didn't really know what to do. And you're going to test it with this wind machine right here. Oh. All right, let's see what you come up with. First, it's time to design the windmill. Our kids dive right into the pieces and try to build the windmill without a plan. I really thought that maybe we, if we just built upward and then came in kind of like a triangle almost, that would work. This makes it stay. 
Okay, uh, sweet. This was gonna be our. Oh one. boy. Okay, we failed. But unfortunately, it didn't. Well, we can do it. Come on. <laughs> Let's think of what real engineers would do. Okay. That's better. They decide to go back to the drawing board, taking some time to discuss and sketch out their design. This part's all wide, and ours is all kind of like, kind of like that. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> and what if we did kind of a hexagon type thing? And we'll and have coming one up? coming up from here, one coming up from here. Oh, our only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll work. I really like the activity of building the windmill because they can teach you something, but you won't fully know it until you actually do it. No, we green, green. One more green. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's do okay. it. Okay, we have a base. With a true team effort, they come up with a workable design. Yay.